Hey guys, welcome to day 99 of my carnivore journey. Holy crap. I cannot believe we're almost to triple digits. God, where does the time go? But that's fine. We've been making progress. And of course, when we get to day 120, I'm going to be weighing in and also doing my measurements. So we'll see what progress we've made over this chapter two of the next 30 days from day 91 to day 120. Um, but in any case, guys, how is your day going today? I hope it's really good. If you're if you're on the carnivore lifestyle and you're struggling, hang in there. OK, hang in there. Um, believe me, it will get better and there's going to come challenges. But the great thing is, like, even now with day 99, any little challenges I face, they're uh, so much easier to tackle. In the beginning, it was really hard to tackle. Right. It was like, oh, God, I want I want, you know, tacos and, you know, like, or, you know, the old fashioned type, like I want pizza. I want bread. I want these things. Now, it's not so bad because I've gone almost 100 days with feeling good. And like consistently good. Now, I got to say. I did wake up this morning. I was a little nervous because. You know, I've been taking the iodine for this last, what, you know, four, four or five days in a row. And, you know, I've been taking some supplements like the potassium, magnesium, and zinc. And I've been taking those for the last few days in a row. But I woke up this morning and I moved my right leg and all of a sudden my calf and leg area, like back leg area, my, my calf area especially, went into a major Charlie horse. Like it hurt unbelievable. I mean, I'm just like, Oh my God. And I was able to kind of straighten out a little bit and kind of bring my toes in a little bit and, and almost like kind of stretching a little bit, but I was able to, to get it to go away. It just, it, it was an intense pain. And then when I tried to gently move to, to make some adjustments so I could start to try to get out of bed. It cramped up again and hit me hard like a freaking ton of bricks. And I'm like, Ugh! And, I, and finally I was able to, I think I went through it three times until I was able to finally like sort of maneuver, get out of bed and, and sort of, and then, and there's, there was some soreness in my calf today, my right calf. So the sad thing is, is I was so that mentality of, and, and I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people I talk to, and it seems to be this way on, on, on a lot of people. I'm not saying everybody, but it seems like when, when we're doing carnivore or when we're researching, we're always looking for that negative thing. We're always like, Oh, there it is. There it is. That's why carnivore is bad. Like, I don't know. That's just like our mentality. Like we're just looking for something and that's why some of those clickbait titles work. Like when somebody's like, I had a heart attack on carnivore. We're like, wait, like, is this it? Was this the bad thing? What's going on? And we click on it and they're just like, yeah, I had a heart attack, but it was a previous condition and blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's like, okay, whatever. But, and that's been the story for the last few years. Every time I think there's something negative about carnivore, 98% of all things out there have good endings. But there is a few people that you know, I think those are probably either the ones that either lie or don't know how to do it right. Whatever. Anyways. Well, for me, that mentality stuck with me and I'm like, oh, God, I had this cramp thing. Like I, I even took supplements and, and I started second guessing myself. I was like, what did I eat? I was like, well, I had that pound of meat. I had meat. And I'm like, oh, God, am, am I starving my body of nutrients? Am I, you know, is this? And I just started going through the Rolodex of of things that I might be screwing up on the diet. I'm like, I mean, I, I'm taking iodine. I'm, I'm like, I took my supplements last night. I had meat. I even took the supplements with meat last night, but I got up once I got up and I, I made it to the kitchen. I went ahead and took some more potassium and magnesium. And then I went and laid back down. Cause this was like early in the morning. This wasn't even like when I first got up, this was like six something in the morning. I didn't have to get up yet. Um, so I went back to bed. Well, later on, I, I, I was talking to my mom and we were, we were talking and I hadn't, you know, hadn't caught up with her in a little bit. And we were, we were talking and I told her about the cramp and she was just like, 
she said, well, you know, she's like, in all honesty, she's like, you probably, she's like, one big thing is sometimes the covers, like when you're sleeping, you're all covered up and snug in bed. If the toes, if your toes are sort of like, you know, like outstretched, so to speak, because of the covers or something, you can end up, if you're in that position, and then you wake up, and of course you move, and you 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 flex your foot back or something, and you snap into a Charlie horse. But it made sense because I was thinking to myself, well, it was pretty chilly last night. My feet were kind of cold. I was sort of tucked in pretty good with the the covers, and it made sense. Plus, it wasn't all over my body; like my muscles weren't aching in general. It was just that one, just the one leg. So it, it made sense. Like once my mom and so. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And, <laughs> but you know, it was like that, that instant panic, like, oh my God, is, is carnivore really, is this, is, is, am I screwing up? Am I, am I going to, you know, am I starving myself of nutrients? I have to have faith and trust and listen to my body. And this was just a pure act of sleeping with the blanket and the, and, and it made sense to me and it, and it, it does fall in line. So I just wanted to share that with you guys from this morning, not only just to log it in my diary, but to let you know that, look, try to relax, trust in the system. Don't stress about it, every little thing, you know, and try to debunk it because I'm an investigator. That's what I do. Right. So and I should have did my due diligence. My mom had to, you know, sort of remind me like, hey, by the way, this this is like really common. I mean. Yeah, it makes it. But it was the first time that ever happened to me in my entire life. I don't get Charlie horses in my calf areas hardly. I've got massive calves, although I think I've lost a lot of muscle mass, you know, since I've really gained weight. But I'm always on my feet. You know, I've always had big calves. Um, but, yeah, this was the first time I ever had a Charlie horse in my calf. So I was, I was kind of like, oh, my God. Uh, but anyways, so, guys, that was what happened to my leg cramps. Now, as far as today goes, day 99. It was a gorgeous day. Uh, Northeast Tennessee um, literally didn't have to wear a jacket, although I did wear a vest. I don't know why. Self-conscious, maybe. But it was pretty warm out. I think we, I want to say we got to 70. But for this time of year, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I know we're going to pay for it. Um, The... As far as food wise, so here's what I ate today. And this is going to be, this may sound not a lot and it probably isn't, but for lunch, I kind of got fairly hungry and I, and I was really in the mood for a couple beef hot dogs. So I got two beef hot dogs, a little bit of mustard, just, just every, every other bite. I was kind of dipping a little bit of mustard and I know mustard's okay ish. I just don't, I, I don't want to overdo it on the mustard just a little bit, you know, and then about an hour later, I actually had my two hard boiled eggs. So I had that for lunch. And then tonight when I got home, uh, I kind of got home a little late because my son had a, a ten tennis scrimmage. And so I had to pick him up from the school because uh, they, they were at another school. And so they did the bus thing. And then so I had to pick him up at the bus area. And it just was kind of late. And I was going to make... Um, I was going to have some more ground beef tonight, but it was just kind of late. So everybody was like, Hey, just get McDonald's. And so I got some cheap McDonald's, but I didn't feel like having the McDonald's burger patties. So instead I came home and I had two more hard boiled eggs and the, I had three pieces of bacon left over in my bacon Tupperware. So altogether today I had three pieces of bacon and four hard boiled eggs, but that's all I was in the mood for. Like I'm, I'm fine right now. I am going to, I do have my coffee uh, right here with my three iodine drops. And um, let's see. Uh, I am going to take those supplements, the potassium, zinc, and everything. I'm going to take those before I go to bed. I don't take the magnesium and potassium. I don't take the supplements right now because I still have to work tonight for my second job. and. I just don't want the magnesium. I don't want to get sleepy from any of the supplements. So when I get home before I go to bed, I'll take them and uh, th that'll be that. Um, other than that, guys, day 99 going into 100. 
But listen, if you guys have any questions, comments, tips, all those things, I'm always happy to hear those things. Um, and like I said, I don't mind. And I know I can't always answer back. So if you get a like or a heart or something, a lot of times that's me. But I do read all your comments. Um, but you guys have been so gracious. Seriously, so gracious. I, I can't I can't stress enough how much this community of you guys have helped me to get through this that I have that support and in my times of weakness, you guys have poured out to me and I get a ton of comments, you know? Um, and, and it, like I said, it truly does help. It really does. But anyways, guys, um, tomorrow day 100 and we will be counting in the triple digits from now on. Holy crap. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm looking forward to things. I, I I really do still, I can't believe after three months, I'm still excited about this lifestyle compared to when I used to do calorie, like calorie diet. And it's funny because real quick, I talked to a good buddy of mine. I don't know if he's going to end up watching this. He ended up sub subscribing to this. He's thinking about trying carnivore, but I talked to a friend of mine and I was explaining to him everything. And he was talking about his calorie diet and, and I was explaining, I was, I started kind of telling him like, yeah. I was telling about my 11 year history. Remember I shared with you guys my 11 year um, weigh in history. And I was like telling them how a lot of that is, was calories, calorie counting. And, and that's why I kept yo-yoing over the years because, you know, it's like you have to constantly play the card game. It's like, you know, when the old uh, deal a meal, you know, Richard Simmons, when he came out with the deal a meal, it's good in theory, but you're sort of, uh, it was kind of like counting calories for dummies. That's what I liked about it. It was a great idea. I, I loved that idea back in the day. Um, but what I'm saying is, like with anything, when you're counting calories, it's like, ugh, it's, it's just like it becomes a game and you never get enough food. You're eating these diet foods, which are filled with fiber and things to try to make you full and bloated but they don't last. They don't stay in your system. And then you're hungry and you're sitting there miserable and you're just like, well, I, I I'm under my calories today, but you, but the quality of life sucks. And that's what people don't always understand with carnivore. The quality of life is amazing because you don't have to starve. You can sit there and eat. If you're hungry, have some meat, you know, I mean, I used to have pepperoni as a snack a lot of times. Now that I have hard-boiled eggs, um, I used, I was doing pepperoni. I bought a bag of pepperoni, like the same one from pizza. And I just have, you know, small little, like eight or ten of them for a snack. I mean, and if I got hungry, I'd have a few more. But now I've kind of transitioned to eggs and maybe having some bacon in the fridge or a meat stick, you know, whatever. And that's the beauty of this lifestyle is if you get a little hungry, you eat something, but you don't have to stress about all this other crap. And you don't really, you're just not miserable and you feel good. Your aches and pains. I don't have those old man aches and pains. Uh, what I used to call like old man aches and pains, right? You know what I'm talking about? I don't have those. My pre-diabetes, all the things that I talked about before is, has been going to the good side now. So anyways, guys, uh, I could ramble on and talk about how good carnivore is. And, and I'm blown away by that, that going literally into what, three over three months. And I'm still talking good about the lifestyle. And I never thought so. It, it really happens once you get in your day 70s and 80s. That's when things start taking a, a bigger turn. So some of you that unfortunately couldn't make it to day 90, you know, God bless you. Hang in there and, and you'll get it. You'll get there. You'll get there. Trust me. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.